Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In recent videos, I've been taking a look at, in some detail, the sum if and the sum ifs function in Microsoft Excel. In this video, a little bit of a recap perhaps of the sum ifs function, uh, but looking at it across uh, multiple um, worksheets, multiple consolidation ranges rather than what I've done previously. Uh, it was a single worksheet basically. You may recognize this data. This is the raw data that I'm going to be using in this video. This is the raw data I've used several times in the past. Um, I have looked at uh, creating pivot tables. So this is a pivot table for example based upon this raw data and this is my SUMIF implementation. This is my SUMIF calculations. The numbers are exactly the same. Total sales for each of the categories of product here and here for example. It's just that I've used the pivot tables here and um, that kind of functionality and the sum if function here. Let me just F2 on that. Yeah, typical or typically perhaps a uh, a range criteria and a sum range for example. And of course we take that so much further. The limitation there of course is that we've only got uh, we're only kind of allowed a single criteria range and a single criteria but using the sum ifs function here, for example, um, we've got multiple criteria ranges and multiple criteria. You can see the three criteria actually there. Which particular quarter is it? Is it an online or a retail sale? So what type of sale effectively is it? And what type of product total sales for each of the products against each of the quarters for each of the sales types in those two tables? I can compare and contrast. I've got a little bit of a graphical analysis going on here as well, something quite simple. A couple of line charts, for example, um, there. This worksheet, same two tables, yeah. Uh, one chart is kind of filled in, uh, the retail is not uh, quite at the moment, we're going to do that very very shortly indeed. It's actually going to be a sum ifs once again and, and it's actually not going to be as complex as the previous one um, because we've only got two criteria so I'm interested in the type of product or the type of the category of product if you like and it's a retail sale rather than an online sale in this particular case. Um, not considering these things uh, as far as criteria are concerned anyway because I've got separate sheets for the four quarters so one of my colleagues has provided me with this another with that, another with that, and another with that and I've just simply uh, copied each of those worksheets into this particular workbook so let me go back so I think I'll zoom scroll across just a touch and click what's this I7 so equal sum ifs tab sum range my sum range uh, is going to be on this quarter one sheet that I've got what am I looking to do I'm looking to analyze in some way shape or form totaling up summing up the total sales press my F4 function key comma separate criteria range or control and home the criteria range well it's going to be all about yeah the category of product so again first to last control shift and down arrow press my F4 function key again must be absolute I'll be copying down through shortly comma separate going back to my working sheet and click and select the type of product comma go back to that quarterly one data I'll just control home back up to the top left corner all of the the, uh, the sales types control shift down arrow F4 comma go back to my destination sheet, to my working sheet. Click and select the uh, cell H5, top left corner, uh, which is of course where the retail caption or label is. Looks as if it's elsewhere, but I've just got a little bit of um, centering across columns going on there. Can I make this absolute as well? Press my F4 function key to make it absolute because I'm going to be copying down through and I must make sure beverages, condiments, confections and so on always refers to H5 as the sales type. Press my return key or my enter key on the keyboard and there is the quarter one sales total for that particular category of product for that particular uh, sale type. Now what I can do is well, I can shift down arrow, control D to fill it down through the rest of the selection and I'll make a quick compare and contrast those figures. Yep, exactly the same as, as these figures. Now of course I can't copy it across to quarter four. I guess control Z to undo that. 
because well if I just concentrate on this particular copy here if I click and select this F2 yeah the um, retail cell reference top left corner that's that's fine because I made that absolute I've gone across from beverages um, to um, what is it beverages in H7 across to I7 because it's relative it's not appropriate anyway of course guys is it let me just delete that because well they are separate sheets so what of course I could do is kind of continue on through yeah but going to a different quarterly data sheet it would be quarter two and then I'd have to do the same for quarter three and then the same for quarter four for example I could of course copy down as long as I'm referring absolutely back up to the top left corner or H5 but that's a little bit tedious isn't it let me just go back here F2 that's fine it's perfectly fine as an example uh, another example of a sum ifs function but across multiple consolidation ranges at least that's what this table of data would be ultimately and again I think it is uh, it just feels like a neater tidier solution compared to pivot tables particularly because one of those major kind of benefits of doing something like this is it will automatically recalculate if I make any changes to those kind of individual sheets the data is going to change here if of course I've got auto recalculation switched on at an Excel uh, application level with pivot tables I would have to remember to refresh now to make it even more complex again but much more functional as it were I would like to be able to do this I would like in fact to be able to do this but of course I can't at the moment in my next video I'll be recording it shortly and uploading it to YouTube I'm gonna look at using the some ifs function let me again just zoom in scroll across some in combination with something that you guys may have come across previously the indirect function to create something like this now at first glance looks to be a little bit over the top but it's really rather cool pretty complex no question about that at all but really rather cool it's a combination of the sum ifs function, the indirect function, as you can probably see, I'm sure you recognize there, the ampersand concatenation is involved in there as well. That allows me to copy across columns J, K, and L. I couldn't do that, could I, as we just saw, ended up with zeros. It's not the case in this particular case. Why not? Well, because I am using the label in I6 there it is there in concatenation that it is there and there to refer to the right worksheet now how on earth does that work refer to this sheet if it's quarter one to this sheet if it's quarter two to this sheet if it's quarter three to this sheet if it's quarter four and that is all as a result of that formula. Whoa, that's actually going to complete my uh, my overview, if you like, of uh, sum if and sum ifs in Excel in this third and final uh, video. Like I say, I'll be recording and uploading shortly, so that's to come. I'll go through that in detail. What I'm going to do, however, guys, let me just go back to leave you with that. That's it from me, Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Again, do come back, check out, uh, look forward to, I'm sure you are already, my sum ifs, indirect, and concatenation solution. Take care, and bye-bye.